Chad Evans, weather from where you live. Any scattered clouds are now burning off. We've got a nice clear evening. That's going to allow for a cold night tonight with temperatures at or below freezing. But notice how from Columbus, Ohio to California, very widespread clear skies. This is the nice, warm, sunny weather we're going to have for a good week. However, there's one fly in the ointment, and that will arrive Sunday evening into Sunday night. This low pressure moving through central Canada and a cold front along it. This will sweep through the Great Lakes and New England and its tail end will pass through here Sunday evening with a few more clouds and slightly cooler weather as we get into Monday. Real, my main focus is on the cold weather we're going to have tonight and we did have that cold weather this morning. 32 for the low at Rochester, not quite below freezing at Kokomo and Atlanta at 33. We dropped to 29 at Monticello. 30 in Lafayette and Fowler in the cold spot this morning, 28 at Morocco. Temperatures have recovered fairly nicely, though it's a little cool, but the sun feels really nice. 53 at Rochester, 57 Monticello and Lafayette right now, 58 at Attica and 56 at Morocco. Now that will bring another cold night tonight with a frost and a freeze, but largely a warm, dry pattern setting up for next week and the earliest potential of any thunderstorms very late next Friday, more than likely on Friday night. But tonight, though, upper 20s in our eastern counties, 28 Kokomo, Atlanta, and Peru, to about 31 here in Monticello, 32 Lafayette, Fowler, and Attica, and about 31 in Morocco. And in the western half of our viewing area, uh, temperatures may actually start to rise a little bit after 3 a.m. as that south wind kicks in. And with a strong southwest wind tomorrow, it'll warm up very nicely. Upper 60s in our eastern counties to 70 Monticello, 69 Winnemac, 72 at Pence. Other than the wind, it will be an absolutely beautiful afternoon. A little warmer on Sunday, but here's the tail end of that little front kind of swinging in from the north and the northeast. So 70 Sunday. A few more clouds and kind of a cloudy night as we get into Sunday night, early Monday morning, and then sunny in the afternoon. North to northeast winds behind that front with 70, but the front goes back north as a warm front. We're back to near 80 on Wednesday, 82 Thursday, and the potential of some scattered storms by Friday late afternoon, if not Friday night. Forecast for tonight, though, 32 clear. Rising temperatures in the western half late uh, with that south wind commencing and a windy day tomorrow, warmer, 71 for the high, sunny skies, decent on Sunday, but a few more clouds, little cooler on Monday, but still above average and well above average by next week, 80 on Wednesday, 82 Thursday. And again, we're going to have to wait until very late Friday afternoon, more than likely Friday night for any chance of rain. Great news for area farmers, a lot of dry weather on the way. And this may not be the last cold snap. Well, I, we'll probably have another patchy frost, but this may very well be the, na the last good freeze, so that's good news. Or Take bad it. freeze. Yeah, or bad maybe. freeze. Yeah. Hey, San Diego Padres uh, are in tonight's.